Hello to my tutorial for blues piano in, in G. Why another key than C? Well, first of all, it's very good for your ego because you don't feel like a total dilettante anymore in blues piano just playing C, 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 C. Also, it's, uh, your ear needs some change and you realize that change and it, uh, it's refreshing. It's a different sound and uh, that means more motivation. It's, it's 10 o'clock in Germany and my brain is still working at the speed of a snail on animal tranquilizer, which is good for you, because your G brain might work just at the same speed. Let's start with the chords. We have to do a certain pace. We have to cover some, some stuff. G7 here. An old friend, because we know it as the dominant, as the 5 of C. Now we have C7 itself. In G it's the subdominant the four and we have the d7 make screenshots if that is too slow too fast for you or put your youtube player on slow motion you know how to do it again g7 c7 and d7 what about the scales we start of course very original on g and then we have the minor third. This is a minor blues scale now, or commonly known as the blues scale. But since you're on my channel, you know there are two blues scales. First, this one. So these are the first four notes. And then we have two more the D and the F. So remember these four notes. And then, oh. <laughs> okay, and back. Then the second um, blues scale is the major blues scale. You know, as I already um, said in one of my own couple of my tutorials. In the end, it's always a mix of both. There are two sounds, um, and uh, some songs, it really depends on the song, uh, on the temper of the song, um, if the minor blues scale is dominating or the major blues scale. First, the major blues scale is. You have these in the beginning. And then we have five, six, eight. And back. So you will realize we have the major, uh, major third here, which is a happier third than the minor third. And we have the major six here, which is also happy interval, you can tell. And um, so this scale is probably uh, stems from a mix of the, um, of the uh, folk or the traditional pentatonic, which you can play like in all folk music uh, in, in Germany and many European countries, also Irish music. The difference is that if you have the minor blues scale, uh, you can play the minor blues scale. Over all. Chords, the major blues scale, we have this, um, the B here. And the B does not exist in C7. You see, it sounds nasty, like uh, Christian when he's really hungry, then I, I get really nasty. And this is um, also clashing. So in the, in the major blues scale, you have to avoid on the, seven, uh, on the C7 this one. So you would just alter it to just skip this one. 
in what order should you proceed now with these elements? <coughs> first, of course, you should learn this chord. Uh, first, really, in these voicings, you can play blues. A lot of blues um, has been played like, like just with these, not not necessarily this one. You, you hear uh, plenty of. So you, you, uh, you can do fourth notes or like sounds good. Now, if you want something for the left hand, uh, you take uh, you can take basically uh, any of your f uh, of your favorite left hands and just take it from C. If you have this. Do it here, and then on C you know it already. Uh, the only difference is in G, like uh, in, in D7, you have have to do a little bit of thinking, but that you can do because it might not be 10 o'clock in your part of the world. So that's the only trick with D7. If you want to play something with the minor and the major third, but you can also play this one. can easily um, derive it or transform it from C with a little bit of stru structural thinking um, the uh, you get the any accompaniment in the left hand on D7 like, you know easy peasy now um, you learn this uh, you learn this the, the chord I assume you have heard about the blues form that's a Spanish ship from the Civil War made out of wood no, of course you know the blues form. Four bars C, uh, four bars um, tonic, two bars blah 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 blah, and uh, then you return. Of course you did already blues in C, and you know the blues form. Now if you now we um, extend our program to some first tries, first uh, 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 efforts to walk with the blues. Can you do something? Now the first thing you um, uh, or the order you should keep now is you play the blue scale first just on one chord on the second third chord then you play the blue scale over one octave on the whole blues form the 12 bar blues form then you play the blue scale over two octaves over the blues form like Uh, do, you, do you know where you are in the structure? Now, here we reach the. Uh, see, I'm I'm lost because I have to talk. Okay, now we're on the uh, on the first with the two C bars, and you should always know where you are. Two, three. Oh, meaning you don't care where you are here you know exactly where you are in the blues form and uh, you spread the scale over the form and then you do the same with the major blues scale uh, yes third bar fourth bar attention here with the um, with the B flat and the B. Now let's have a look at uh, what we can uh, feed you with. Easy little patterns to start with. And for example, what about if we do this? We have a little bit of Major blue scale. Again. And the minor blue scale down. And then. 
So that's, that's a really uh, good example of how these sounds very often just mingle, they just mix, okay? Um, so then on, on C, for example, we can, we must skip this one in C, so we must play any other note, let's say, let's just repeat this one. Yeah, instead of this one, I just repeat this one. And blue scale always works on all chords, the minor blue scale. D7. And here I'll show you the um, finishing routine, this uh, th cliche you should also know in G. Okay, here we go. One and two. The easy um, memory hook is you go here bet between the one note and always back to G, like G back. Chromatically, G back, C, G back. So this is the easy part to remember. And then you go chromatically down, da da da. Now that you uh, know that bit, it becomes much easier. And here you just go also chromatically down. Finger setting, pay attention. And now we combine it. One, G back, D flat, G back, C back, B. And now, we have several ways to go to the dominant. The easiest way is this one. Chromatically from C to D. Or as I played before. Whatever. That's more advanced because you have some stretch here or that's the D7 with an augmented 5. Sounds quite sophisticated. Okay, so now you have a basic element. Now let's play a little bit with the scales again. Bar number 3. Count the bars. Now we have to go and change. Bar number two of the subdominant and and on D seven now. To end our finishing formula. Let's have a little bit more of that for you as a kind of starter kit. Not just cling, hold on to the root like many beginners do. They think this is the, um, the like a rescue system, the G. If they only cling to this, their life will be safe. It's not true. You can tell that and you, we still have Corona. So, um, where was I? Right, yeah. How was it nice? Let's see. I found something. Let's do it like this. Bar three. Or slide it. It's the minor blue scale. You can stay on all chords. D7, it's the same. See how that's easy is to play blues. Just um, uh, 
follow a couple of rough guidelines not to sound like a total jerk um, who starts always from the G, for example. Now you can, uh, what else could we do? Um, yeah, total major blues scale. The fourth time, you could go down. Now, C, what do we do here? Here, replace the B by the, by, by the B flat. And one down, every fourth time. Sounds good. Now we can do without the, um, uh, without the turnaround on D. Nicer. Huh? Okay, let's see two more examples for you to start with. What about this one? And slow, third finger, third finger, fifth finger. This way, we have the third finger here, we have this, the uh, second finger spare free for some damage on, the, on this one. Okay? Which bar are we now? You know exactly, right? Number three. You must count the bars. You must know that we want to change now. Okay. Ha 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 ha. I don't repeat myself here. Now X, C, and finishing formula and turn around. And because you are such nice people, I do a last one. Okay, this one is really easy. It's great to start with easy stuff here to be able to, to still focus uh, on the form and count the bars, okay? So, you, we either do here um, two, two, like, and then we do the second time, we do the, it only once, okay? It's nicer because it becomes a, a two pattern, a two bar um, figure, which is always nicer, not always, but it's um, often nicer to have a, a little longer figure and it's very easy to make this a two bar figure just by um, changing the and. Third bar. What do we do now with this one? And then on the on the five, good. <laughs> what we did now is we used on the D7 uh, a slightly different figure. That you should also do. Oh, it's, it sounds very nice. You have something on on the four, uh, on the one and the four, and then on the five you take something else like. Okay, anything will do. You can transport a lot of licks from the C blues also to the G blues, which I will do in my next um, lesson on G. If you like it, if you want more, uh, leave a like. That's very important for me to know that you will uh, want more 
Then of course we have to deal with with a couple of licks and the sixth and the third and stuff like that. That was introduction for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can play it. And thanks so much for watching. Now you can choose another video here or subscribe. Or if you if you like what I'm doing here, then you can just become a member, member of my supporters um, Patreon club. Take care. All the best from Berlin.